Spectacular images of the Northern Lights have been captured by an astronaut on board the International Space Station. They show the aftermath of a cannibal ejection from the Sun, which triggered geomagnetic storms on Earth. NASA astronaut Bob Hines, who arrived at the ISS as part of the SpaceX Crew 4 mission in April, snapped the amazing images. Absolutely spectacular aurora today. He tweeted. Thankful for the recent solar activity resulting in these wonderful sights. He took the pictures from the cupola, a seven-window observatory which offers the best spot for taking in the stunning views of the Earth. Auroras occur when particles from incoming solar storms strike gases in our planet's atmosphere, with the collision often leading to these eye-catching displays. While astronauts on the space station do get a unique view of the phenomenon, the natural wonder can also be witnessed from the ground. With the best vantage points in places in the far north like Alaska, Canada, Iceland, Greenland, Norway, Sweden, and Finland. On the other side of the planet, in the far south. Places such as Tasmania and New Zealand offer the best view of an aurora. The cannibal ejection of energetic and highly magnetized, superheated gas barreled toward Earth yesterday, Thursday. This stream, known as a coronal mass ejection, CME, shot out of sunspot AR3078 on Monday and then gobbled up a previous ejection that was released the previous day, deeming it a cannibal. It created a mishmash of the two with tangled magnetic fields and compressed plasma, highly ionized gas, which are known to cause strong geomagnetic storms. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, experts said they were expecting G1, minor, to G2 class, moderate, geomagnetic storms, which they said could produce auroras as far south as New York and Idaho. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's, NOAA, uses its space weather scales to categorize solar storms. They were introduced as a way to communicate to the general public the current and future space weather conditions and their possible effects on people and systems. The scales describe the environmental disturbances for three event types, geomagnetic storms, solar radiation storms, and radio blackouts. The scales have numbered levels, analogous to hurricanes, tornadoes, and earthquakes that convey severity. G5 extreme power systems, widespread voltage control problems and protective system problems can occur. Some grid systems may experience complete collapse or blackouts. Transformers may experience damage. Spacecraft operations may experience extensive surface charging, problems with orientation. Uplink downlink and tracking satellites. Other systems, pipeline currents can reach hundreds of amps, high-frequency radio propagation may be impossible in many areas for one to two days. Satellite navigation may be degraded for days, low-frequency radio navigation can be out for hours, and aurora has been seen as low as Florida and southern Texas, typically 40 degrees geomagnetic latitude. G4 severe power systems, possible widespread voltage control problems and some protective systems will mistakenly trip out key assets from the grid. Spacecraft operations may experience surface charging and tracking problems, corrections may be needed for orientation problems. Other systems, induced pipeline currents affect preventive measures. HF radio propagation sporadic, satellite navigation degraded for hours, low frequency radio navigation disrupted. And aurora has been seen as low as Alabama and Northern California, typically 45 degrees geomagnetic latitude. G3 strong power systems, voltage corrections may be required. False alarms triggered on some protection devices.